So I'm here at Teach Beach and I want to talk about reality. You know, say physical reality. First there was physical reality and then there was virtual reality. And we could sort of think of these as, you know, let's say this is alpha atoms, the physical world. And let's say this axis here is beta bits the virtual world, in the Claude Shannon sense, bits, analog or digital units of information. And so we can say that the physical reality is the axis of atoms, the physical world, and the virtual reality is the axis of bits, the virtual world. And so we've got these two axes. And then of course, there's this newer concept called augmented reality that gives you some of reality and some of virtuality. And if you can have augmented reality, then also you can have diminished reality. You've got less reality. Some technologies deliberately diminish reality like, um, you know, earplugs or sunglasses or a baseball cap that cuts out some of reality. And that's a deliberate reduction in reality. So that goes here. And now uh, there's technologies that don't quite fit in here. So if we go up to 100% reality here and 100% virtual, 100% virtuality here, You've got technologies that, like HDR, high dynamic range imaging, that tries to extend our capacity of human vision <clears throat> and see beyond what uh, the range that humans can see, or to be able to see radio waves or see sound waves, see and photograph radio waves, sound waves. These are realities from the 1970s that don't fit sort of right in here, and they kind of extend. Extended reality is trying to reach beyond. and. Uh, more generally, extended reality subsumes this. In some ways, extended reality XR allows us to kind of get rid of all of these and just say, okay, let's have uh, just this one uh, sort of X, let X uh, be in the set of all the realities and all the virtualities so that X can be anywhere in this plane uh, from 0 to 100% and beyond. And so XR subsumes all these other realities and gives us one simple kind of reality. And that's a simple concept. But now uh, we've also, we can also come out of the plane on a third axis, I'll call that uh, gamma, say genes, uh, third axis, a sort of human axis. So if we had our plane here and we can bring in a second layer here. So this is the metaverse. We have shared virtual reality. So this is VR, the virtual world that's shared among multiple people. That's a shared VR. And then uh, we can have a kind of social verse. You know, in, in the physical world, we can have society, let's say, shared physical experiences. And then we can have a community or a commune or an isolated community that might be uh, separate from society, but still within itself uh, c interacting, but it might diminish its response to the outside world. So uh, that that forms these <clears throat> these sort of three categories. And there's one sort of empty space, and we call that the extendiverse, which is in general where we have some of all of these. We can have a shared augmented reality. We can have a social interaction community. Uh, in the real and the virtual world, and this is XV that subsumes all of these. So in this way, XV is the new sort of three-dimensional generalization, and uh, so now we're going to let this X be in the set of the reality, virtuality, and sociology. So there, now we can get rid of all of these and just have this. And so this extendiverse now is this sort of universal or overall reality that covers for the metaverse and XR and so on. Thank you. It's this beautiful, mystical sort of magical weather, you know, it's like... One of those things where you maybe can't tell what's up when you're in there. You want to do one photo underwater? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh my god. <laughs> it's nice and cool, isn't it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. You want to do one underwater? You ready? You ready? Yeah.
Simon, yeah, have a good day. Hey, Tamar, how are you? What a beautiful day for a swim. <laughs> Did you have a good swim? Oh boy! What a beautiful million bucks. What a beautiful day for a swim. What a what a unique. It's almost a magical, mysterious world, I like a liminal space between reality and virtuality. And my body feels so alive. Oh, you're double dipping? Oh, yes. Time for my double dip. This is the ma this is master train. Yeah. I'm, I'm in tootlage here. <laughs> Hey Keith, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> well, Keith and I went for a swim of just crazy man. <laughs> oh yeah, you're good. How long did you guys stay in there for? Um, hey. what's your name? Steve. My Steve. name is Steve. Stuart. Stuart Campbell. Stuart Campbell. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, wow. Professor. <laughs> Professor Steve. <laughs> Professor Steve. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So